All right, our next step now that we have it in GitHub is that we're going to start integrating We're going to start integrating this script right here since it's a good one to start off with. So I'm just going to copy and paste this over into our uh, main script here. And this is essentially going to help us define the coloring for our calendar here. So I'm going to call this function. Um, calendar day attribute. Now he has the input as expires date, but you know for our input it's going to be coming from guesty. So it's actually like a guesty object that um, is going to be essentially you know working this. So guesty object is going to be the input for this and based on that we're gonna you know determine the calendar attributes one of which is text color um, but there's a few other ones that we need because you know um, the full calendar API actually needs these three attributes title start and end so we'll have to add that. So these are the calendar attributes that we'll need to populate based on that GISTI object. Um, so the next piece is really like trying to figure out what this is going to look like. And the best way to do that is going to Firefox. Um, let's go to our GitHub. Real quick. What's that URL? Back to Dashbot, and you want to see what the page is going to look like. So we're going to go right here. I actually want to do this in Firefox because then I get to see what it'll look like. So our goal is to see this guesty object. Now within this page, we know we have the guesty data. And a guesty object, since this is a list or an array, we're going to actually take the first one as a central option. <clears throat> so, anyways, this is essentially the guesty object right here. So, now we need to populate the title, the start, and color text. Well, we don't need text actually from this guesty object. So the title, you know, let's just have it be um, the full name. So we know that that is going to be under guest. Then under full name, so let's say this has guest name. But one of the things that I also want is I want to know what room they're staying in. So if we go into integration, and that's under. There it is, nickname, because this is the room. So that would be SD object listing room. 
nickname. So this is the listing listing nickname. And I want the title to be these two put together. Maybe with the space in between. <clears throat> so that'll be the title. Now for the start date and end date. <clears throat> All I need to do there is that's just under check-in. So take the that and then for end and finally it's the color of the actual event so if we go into full calendar event color color and events here it is so this is just so th this is um how we set the colors but the thing is that this it looks like it's going to be applying to every event but we want to apply it to just specific event Here's the event object, the start end, which we have, and then we have color. And these can be written in, in these different ways. So the next step is really just taking <clears throat> really taking making this attribute event color and the way that I want to do it is there's th there's four different rooms or actually three in this case those are the four different rooms and we first need to identify if the guesty object fits in any of those rooms so the first one being um, we're gonna do we're gonna determine first what room it's in. So is 3009. Um, the way that we'll tell that is we have a listing nickname. Looks of is how you determine whether that string is containing 3009 because we know that. If the room has 3009, it's the room 3009, so we would identify that. Just using this index of. For example, if we were checking it's 401, it would be negative 1. So, index of 3009, and if it doesn't equal negative one, then this is true. Cool. And do the same thing for the other ones. Is 401, is 1806, and we'll, for the purposes of this example, you will we'll define those right here. You can see it is 401 is false, 1806 is false because it's not it doesn't have those that word in it. Okay. So now if it's 1806, the event color is going to be red. If it's 401, blue. If it's 1806, um, gray. 
So this is really good too. I'm not going to use this for now. I'm going to have to come back to it. Um, but this is going to help us determine which of these dates are, is, is an actual current guest. So this is the calendar date attributes. So here in this, in this uh, function, we already have this looping through the guesty data. And all we need to do now, wait a second. Yep, I need that. So this function is going to return that object right there. That should work. So the next step is putting it within here. Under data attributes, it's going to process this guesty dictionary, which is the same thing as this guesty object. So now let's see what we have. Sweet. So this is exactly what we want. We want gray for uh, Cruci 094, red for Cruci 0100. Yep, this is perfect. Now we, you know, in a later example, we'll figure out how to use that moment.js to determine um, which one of these is the current guest. For example, these are the two current guests.